We now will discuss about the relations of the stomach. First of all, peritoneal relation. First of all, peritoneal relations. Here you can see this is stomach, this is lesser curvature, this is lesser curvature, this is greater curvature. In on the lesser curvature, lesser momentum is attached. This is lesser momentum. As you see here, it has two layers. It covers the both surface. Anterior layer covers anterior surface of the stomach and post, this posterior layer covers posterior surface of the stomach. So, this is this is lesser momentum attached along the margin of lateral uh, right side this is lesser curvature so it is attached with the lesser curvature this is lesser momentum and here after covering on both side this attach with the greater curvature here and it hangs like this this is greater momentum this is lesser momentum attached along the lesser curvature greater momentum attached along the greater curvature and here is position of the spleen. This is spleen. So here, it is gastro splenic ligament. So this point in here, Fold here from the gastro spleen ligament. And here I reflect on the or attach on the diaphragm. This is diaphragm. This is gastro phrenic ligament this is gastro phrenic ligament so this is these are the relations of the stomach this is peritoneal relation along the lesser curvature lesser momentum is attached along the greater curvature greater momentum is attached and also gastro spleenic ligament and here at the side of the fundus gastro phrenic ligament posteriorly smart area is uncovered that is lies here on back side that is bare area of the stomach otherwise all portion of the stomach all surface anterior posterior both surfaces are totally covered by peritoneum except some part here on posterior side that is bare area so this is peritoneal relation. Thank you.